Teach you about another hidden gem. Uh, Koti. Okay, now I found Koti earlier on either this year or last year. And when I did, this became quickly became one of my favorite coins and it still is, all right? So obviously in the DeFi space, uh, it's Koji stands for currency of the internet. Now it's a DeFi project, okay? And when people uh, kind of clock onto that, I think the price of this is actually gonna go. I unfortunately sold my Koji um, a few months ago um, after the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Um, which caused Bitcoin to crash and bring everything down with it. So I actually sold my Koti. I had quite a lot of it as well in the hundreds of thousands. Um, the position that I had now, if I bought it back right now, um, it's going to cost me a lot more <laughs> than what I sold it at. But um, had to be safe uh, around that time. Uh, things were going on that uh, nobody had control over. So um, yeah, I've definitely lost out on Koti. But I am waiting to get into a position now. Um, I am waiting to get into a position now and I'll just tell you about uh, what I see in the chart in a minute and how I believe that this is definitely a hidden gem and a long-term hold. It's up there with sharing with one of my favorite projects. This is definitely one to watch out for, okay? Now, coat is bounced back really well and we'll get into the chart analysis in a minute. But Let's just start with coin market cap. It's currently sitting at four cents. Ranked to number 187. Still a low cap gem under, well, it's under 30 million. It's 24, uh, almost 25 million. Okay. Now, you know, it's good to get in under the 10 million mark, even under the 1 million mark, you know, actually. But um, this to me has the potential to go into the hundreds of millions to the billions. Um, and you'll probably see why in a little while. Uh, total supply is currently at 2 billion, circulating supply 514 million. Okay, now obviously you can see uh, from the chart on coin market cap, you can see over here um, in March, uh, this is where um, uh, coronavirus hit us. Okay, and uh, the Cody chart uh, ended up, the Cody price ended up falling uh, dramatically. So this is the area that I got out of Koti and I do regret buying back in, uh, regret not buying back in over here because obviously we are just seeing this uh, rapid price increase. So it performed better than a lot of other assets um, even, after, even after the dump, you know. But this dump did scare me a little bit and I ended up getting out. Um, I did actually take a position back down there but I didn't think it made that much sense um, at the time. Um, I would. I wanted to wait and see how things play out a little bit because nobody knew what was going on with uh, with the pandemic and how long things would have been down for. But um, yeah, if I would have held, I would have been nice. Or if I would have stayed in down there, um, you know, I, I would have been uh, very happy right now. But that's just how life goes sometimes. Okay, um, getting into the news. So they've got a lot going on in September alone. Okay, all of this is happening in the, in the 30, on the 30th of September. Okay, or earlier. So it says, or earlier, or earlier. Okay, now um, they've got the Cody Pay Viper, um, whatever that is. They've got the staking coming in in September. Cody X launch, multi DAG implementation. Okay. Um, where they implement the capabilities to, to Koti Pay. Now, with Koti Pay, uh, what you'll be able to do is go into any store and pay uh, in crypto or any crypto, and uh, you know, on the merchant service, and it will basically translate your crypto into whatever currency that they're accepting, and it will do that all automatically. Okay, so that's uh, pretty cool. And we've got uh, gaming coming. Integration into gaming, uh, redesigning the mainnet wallet. There's an app coming in September as well for the iOS and Android, so look out for that. And there's a bridge integration. And like I say, September or earlier, so it could be August, you know, or it could be, you know, early September rather than right at the end of September. 
so that is bullish you could see a bullish august and uh, september now when news drops uh, when these things actually do land you might see a lot of profit taken but um this is definitely a, definitely a long-term hold okay now on the chart we have a clear in my opinion double bottom okay we've got a double bottom bottom there bottom there uh, what we also have is we have breakout of resistance okay so you won't want to see Cody come back down here but what you can see is a clear breakout after a double bottom it came up there got rejected off the resistance comes down for the second bottom then it comes up breaks up above that find support retests and now it's going up again okay so i actually did just uh buy put a position into Cody, so i'm back in could have been back in down there if i would have been patient even down here if i would have uh noticed it but um i did kind of take my eye off Cody a little bit because i got distracted by other projects but this is still one of my i'd say Cody is my uh in my top three all right and i can definitely see this doing some strange things to the upside you know over time um, that's the Cody BTC chart and we've got the same kind of thing on the USD chart you get um, the rejection of the resistance comes back down now we see it breaking out retesting and heading up now it could even go up to this level of resistance and if it does get rejected from there from the short term even if that's all it did that's like roughly a 40 percent profit and i believe it's roughly a 50 percent profit you'd be making already if it just does that alone on cody even in a btc chart from here it's about 42 percent if we bring it up to that line we get about 50 percent so if we bring it up to there you know whether that's the resistance or whether this is actually the resistance i'd say it was this but roughly we're looking at about 40 40 to 50 percent there um from there and obviously if we break above that level that's what we'd like to see break above the 69800 level and then we see it consolidate and carry on to the upside okay now it doesn't need to go too far as well to break the previous all-time high 148 150 percent to break the previous all-time high and go into price discovery now i've spoken about a strategy that i can use uh, that i use and that you can use sometimes it's like if you get in here for example and by the way this is not financial advice i'm not telling you to buy this but um, do your own research guys okay but if you did if you did come up and see 100 percent profits you could potentially sell half of your bag right so take your initial investment out and then leave the rest for however long a year you know two years but the way crypto moves sometimes i mean within three months you can see you know just ridiculous gains do you know what i mean and you decide whether you want to take something out but then yeah i mean if you le let that ride you can see you know how far uh Cody can go to the upside and you can scale out bit by bit just take a little bit out as you go along and secure some profits um well long term i think uh i mean i don't think i'll be getting around anywhere at uh, these levels the investment i'm putting in is is uh you know i'm all right with just leaving it in rather than scaling out on this one to be honest because like i said this is one of my top three one of my favorite points all right so yeah that's Cody. i mean guys um i'm not gonna uh talk any more about cody at the moment because because believe it or not this is the second time i've had to record this video because i had some problems with my quick time player and i basically just had to almost record the whole thing again so there are some other things that i talked about um in the video that i probably haven't mentioned now recording it the second time around let me just check my notes um yeah i mean you know i mentioned that you know some some people say that it's better than paypal and you know we're considering the blockchain and the trust chain that they've built um i'd have to agree that it is better than paypal at this point um you can buy it on binance and you can buy it on qcoin 
and they've also got lending and staking coming so they've got a partnership with celsius so you can you can do lending on that and get interest on that and there's also staking coming in september like i mentioned earlier so yeah i mean guys let me know in the comments what do you think about COVID? do you think it's a, an investment for you do you think it's a hidden gem do you think it's uh, uh worth being in uh the top three uh, my top three if you haven't subscribed already please do and uh, let me know okay and i'll see you again in the next one